everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So today I am continuing my build Newcrest Community Lots Edition project and this week we are building a nightclub. So this is a nightclub, I've called it Club Luxor, so it's like very elegant and there's a lot of gold and it's very, very fancy. It sort of reminds me of some place that you would see in like Las Vegas or something. Um, so yes, so this is the first build in the very last neighborhood that we have left in Newcrest, which is honestly a little incredible to me because it feels like I just started this project, like, I don't know, yesterday? And here we are. We have now five builds left to do and then it's done. So kind of crazy. Um, so yeah, so this is in the neighborhood that's like the nightlife type of neighborhood. So there's a nightclub and a bar and a karaoke lounge, no, karaoke bar and a lounge and a restaurant. So, you know, it's a good, it's a good place for your Sims to go out for a night of, ev like an evening of fun and a night out on the town and all that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, so, and I wanted to build a nightclub that felt very like exclusive and posh and, you know, all those kinds of things. So, um, I, I used a lot from City Living, um, a lot of stuff from the Vintage Glamour stuff pack. Uh, what else did I use? I used, I didn't use all of the packs or anything, which at this point is like insane to do anyways, because um, there's so many packs now. But um, I, so I didn't use all of the packs, but I did use quite a bit. Um, so yeah, so if you want to know exactly which ones there are in this build, um, the easiest thing to do is would be to look on the Sims 4 gallery and see which ones I've used in this build because honestly I can't really remember. Um, so yes, yeah, so I wanted to try to build like a nightclub that felt like it could also be more of like a lounge in a way. Like there's obviously like the dance part of it, but then there's also like, I don't know, there's like uh, upstairs it's more of like a chill hangout kind of area. So um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun actually doing this build. It, I say that it took me a long time. It really didn't take me a long time to do. It's just that I started working on this like for last week's video. And then last week, instead of doing this, I uploaded um, a video for BuzzFeed Unsolved because um, they had asked their fans to build them a spooky house in The Sims 4. So obviously, as a huge fan of BuzzFeed Unsolved, I was not going to say no to that. Um, so I actually had started working on this build when I had seen the Bud Speed Unsolved video and I was like, okay, we're, we're putting Luxor on hold for a week and we'll come back to it. So, uh, so that's what I did. Um, so like the first chunk of this video, I had actually built like almost two weeks ago now. Um, and then the last little bit, I went in and kind of finished it out a couple of days ago. So good stuff. Um, so yeah, so I think next week's probably going to be the bar. I went through and I tried to make it because like this neighborhood, so the previous neighborhood, backing up, the previous neighborhood was all in a straight row. So it was like very logical, like which one was going to come next. This is kind of like in like a T shape. So like the nightclub and the bar are kind of next to each other. And then the lounge and the karaoke bar are next to each other. And then the restaurant, it's like kind of by itself. So it's not super apparent, like the order to do things in. But I went through and I looked at um, how the automatic, you know, like when you upload a lot to the gallery, it automatically generates the screenshots for you. Like it'll do like a front shot and then it'll do like a uh, side shot. Also, when I was demonstrating what front and side was with my hands, which is dumb because you can't see it. I don't know why. I just talk with my hands sometimes. I accidentally hit my pop filter. So if you heard a weird noise, that's what that was. Um, but anyways, so I went through and I checked to see like, okay, so which lots are going to like block the view of the other lot next to it, like in the side picture. So little things like that I try to pay attention to because, you know, it it does make a difference. Like if it doesn't look good in the gallery photos or if people can't see it in the gallery photos, like no one's going to download it. And you know, as much as I'm like, ooh, I want people to watch my videos, I also want people to actually download my builds. So 
you know, if you watch the video and you are, you know, interested or you like what you see, you should go download it. Like, that would be super cool. Um, yeah, so at this point I decided that gold on all of the pillars around the building was a little bit much. And so I toned it down to just be like the front panel um, because it was starting to feel a little bit like McDonald's with like lots of golden arches everywhere. And I was not about that. Like that was not the look that I was going for here at all. Um, so yeah, so I think next week anyway, so next week I think is going to be the bar and I'm pretty excited. I, cause by then the seasons will be out, which means I will have more things to play with. And most importantly, well, this will be in the patch before Seasons comes out, but most importantly, glass roofs. Like, there was a part of me that was like, maybe I just shouldn't do this video and just put it off a week and then I can put in the glass roof. But I was like, eh, I've already gone ahead and I've put the regular roof on this build. So we'll just keep it as it is. Cause like glass roofs and like, nightclub type of venues just really seem to go together well I think um I don't know what it is but it's just I don't know it just makes things feel a little bit fancy because it's like you could use it in like a greenhouse in like a regular type of build or it's just like I don't know or like in like in a museum or something like I kind of want to go back and redo some of my earlier builds on this because like like the art museum and you know like all the different things that I had in that first neighborhood like so many places like that have like like a glass atrium or like just part of the roof that's glass. I don't know why, but it does sort of seem like that's like a common thing that you see in like museums and maybe like some like fancier downtown main branches of libraries. Like, I don't know. Actually, they are building a new branch of our library like close to where I live and they're building it in like this very historic downtown part of like you know like not the main city but like in a suburb and they're building it as like this huge like glass monolithic type of building and it just doesn't really go very well with the rest of the area around it so i'm a little nervous to see how it'll turn out i mean i'm sure it'll be fine but you know and then i'm just like well i'm just honestly excited to have a new library at all <laughs> So yeah, but um, yeah, so I used obviously a lot of gold in this build, which is interesting. I don't tend to gravitate towards gold very much. I don't know. It just like, it's become more popular recently again, but for most of the time that I was growing up, like gold was like tacky and it was like not the, the in metal, like everything from when I was like like a preteen through high school and college, everyone was really into silver. Silver was like the it metal. And now it's, I mean, it's still like fine, but like, and now gold has suddenly become more popular again. It's like, ah, I just can't keep up. So yeah, so I don't know. I just, I don't tend to use very much gold in general, unless I have like a very specific reason for it, like this build. So. Um, so at the back of the build here, I'm doing some bathrooms and for the bathrooms, I decided to use like the fancy robot toilets from City Living because I don't ever use them in house builds. Like, um, again, unless I have like a very specific reason to like for this build was just in general, a lot of fun because it was a lot of things that I don't tend to use very much in builds because they just don't look good in a lot of houses. Like. Or they look good in very specific houses, but like I don't tend to build very many like super fancy mansions or, you know, like I try to build things that are a little bit more practical and things that like the everyday simmer would want to use. Um, so yeah, so there, it was just, it was a lot of fun for me to kind of branch out and do something different. Um, I also built a huge bar, so no... No long lines here. I mean, maybe, maybe there's a lot of long lines because I think there's still only going to be one bartender here, but you know, lots of spots to sit down and wait while you wait on the bartender to make your drink. Um, and I also put on the first floor here, there's a couple of like tables that are kind of like, you know, like maybe if you want to actually sit down, maybe you ordered some food at the bar. You just want to like rest, 
have a little conversation with the person you came with. Um, and then, of course, a big old dance floor. And I also included, like, in the entranceway, which I don't remember when I built this part, but in the entranceway, I kind of made it so that there was, like, a like a coat check and, like, a check-in counter, because, like, you know, this is a very exclusive nightclub, so not everybody is going to be able to get in when they want. So, you know, like, you might, you might have to wait a little bit, you might need to come back on another night. Um, obviously not actually in the game, but just for storytelling purposes, I thought that that was kind of fun. And then, uh, upstairs, there's more, it's, upstairs is basically more of like a lounge type of area. There is another dance floor up there, but only because I wanted to have, like, a glass ceiling kind of overlooking the main room downstairs. Um, but I did go ahead and I put like a stereo in up there. So like if your sims don't want to dance to what the DJ is playing and they just want to dance to their own thing, they can, they can do that upstairs. That's totally cool. So yeah, um, lots of gold, lots and lots of gold in this build for sure. Um, and then I tried to make it seem like, like maybe this is a little bit of an older building at one point. Um, and it's been kind of like updated like so like the wallpaper I mean it's from the vintage glamour stuff pack so like obviously it's a little bit older um, and some of the furnishings are actually a lot of the furnishings are from vintage glamour as well oh I also put in a fountain inside I totally forgot about that like I went all out with the fountains on this build like there's the two like pyramid shaped fountains out front and then I also put one inside of the build um, so, except that it's not really a fountain, because unfortunately, for some reason in The Sims 4, you can't build fountains indoors. And I really don't know why. It's very frustrating, because I don't understand why we can't do that. Like, a lot of times there are, like, fountains inside of buildings. Like, I've, I've seen it many, many places. Um, so, what I did was I built a pool, and then I built, like, a low half wall all the way around it. So, like... It is physically impossible for your sims to get in, um, but it's technically a pool. And then I used, like, a move objects cheat to place an actual, like, geysery fountain decoration object inside of it. Because, um, yeah, that's the other thing. I really wish we could actually have, like, fountain sprayers in pools. Because I think that that would be just, I don't know, like, kind of cool. But... Nope, no dice, so I don't know. I wish that we could have that because I think, I don't know, I think it makes a lot of sense, but oh well. So Seasons, I am so excited. Like, I watched the live stream um, that The Sims 4 team did on Friday and was it Friday? Yeah, it was Friday. I don't know. I, like the past few days, I have had the hardest time keeping track of what day it is. Um, because my husband has been off of work for this whole past week. And for the most part, I was pretty good about keeping track of what day it was. But then all of a sudden, I don't know, I just, I really started to struggle like in the last four or five days. Like, wait, what day is it? Is it Thursday? Is it Friday? Is it Saturday? I don't know. Um, I know that right now when I'm recording this is Sunday. But anyways, so on Friday, I watched The Sims 4 team's stream of seasons. And oh my god, I want it so bad. Like, okay, and this is what kills me. So, like, this upcoming week, I have, like, nothing going on. I have, like, one appointment to go to, and that's about it. Like, I really, I don't have much going on. And, of course, Seasons comes out on Friday. And I have plans with my family next Saturday. I have plans with my friends next Sunday. And then the following week, I have, like, a lot of different appointments and doctor's appointments. And I have a lot going on, like, that next week. When I, all I want to do at that point is just stay home and play Seasons. And this week, when I actually have the time to stay home and play Seasons, it's not out yet. <laughs> like, it's just cruel. <laughs> so, I really, I was like, ugh. And then after, like... After seeing the live stream, then I just, I really wanted it more. Like, I mean, I always have wanted it, but now I'm like, I really want this. Like, now. Like, right now. 
So, yeah. I mean, whatever. I mean, I've been waiting this long for it, so I suppose, you know, another few more days won't hurt anything, but it's still just like seeing everything and knowing like more specifically like what's in the game just, oh, it just makes me so excited. I've actually started planning out. So for those of you who only ever watch my build videos, I also do let's plays and challenges as well. So right now um, I have three of those series going on. I have two that are more like let's plays and a third that's a challenge. So um, I'm, I have Ant Life and then which is like a let's play and then I have the short life, which is basically a let's play. I mean, like, I'm playing through a family on the shortest lifespan possible. So, like, you know, things go quick. Um, and then my last series is a challenge that I came up with called the Big Family Little House Challenge, which is super fun. It's crazy difficult, but I kind of like, a, like, when I want a challenge, I want a challenge. And... Big Family Little House is definitely a challenge because basically it's taking an eight sim family and putting them into a starter home and you're not allowed to like expand the size of the home and you're not allowed to have a job or use money cheats and you have to survive <laughs> and it is crazy difficult but it's it's a lot of fun so um I'm a big fan of it so I recommend checking out all of those things but so I'm trying to figure out like okay what series do I want to because when you start up seasons, like once seasons comes out, the way I understand it is that you'll be able to select which season you want your game to start in. So I'm assuming that applies to older saves as well and not just new saves. Um, so if that's the case, I'm going to have each one of my three Let's Play series start in a different season. Um, because personally, I want to play in all of the new seasons. I mean, like, we've always, essentially, we've always had summer. Like, that's not even a big deal. Um, so one of them will start in spring, one of them will start in fall, and one of them will start in winter. So I'm not 100% sure yet which way I want to go. Um, but for those of you who haven't been watching Big Fun Little House, the way that I've been able to get them to make some money is they have a huge garden outside with dragon fruit and that's how they're getting their money and they just had their first harvest like two episodes ago so like money wise they're doing kind of okay right now but i'm like great if i put them in winter their crops are gonna go dormant which means they can't harvest them and because the challenge rules state that you can't build structures I can't build a greenhouse to protect the plants to keep them growing year round <laughs> and there's way too many to just like move inside of the house because as it is I have eight sims in a starter home like it's very cramped so I have to figure out what I want to do I have a feeling that I'm probably going to have big family start off in spring so I have the most time for them to be able to like harvest their dragon fruit um, the other thing is that I know that like gardening has changed so like not all crops are going to grow in all seasons I really hope that dragon fruit grows in spring summer and fall but until the pack comes out I won't know that for sure um, so yeah definitely definitely gonna have to plan this one out and then for ant life and the short life it's not quite as important like which season they start in so one of them will be starting in spring and the other one will be starting in autumn I just don't know which one I want yet um, so I kind of have to figure that out I'm really hoping that I don't know if because the game comes out on a Friday and I try I'm trying to remember if patches before expansion packs come out on Tuesdays or Thursdays in a way I hope it's Tuesday so that like modders have time to update their mods before seasons actually comes out because if it's thursday i don't think most of them will have the time to fix it because i'm just assuming that a lot of mods are going to be broken um so yeah <laughs> i don't know so but then again if it's tuesday like i need to get all of this week's videos like pre-recorded while i still have access to those mods so the next day or so is probably going to be a little crazy for me but that's okay um so I tried to like record not super far in advance but like for a week at a time like as much as I can just because then if I get busy or my internet acts up or something then I have those videos like at the ready 
And then I can start working on like the next week's bills because those tend to take the longest for me. So yeah. But anyways, so Club Luxor is available on The Sims 4 Gallery for download. Um, the easiest thing to do if you want to download it is to click on the link in the description box below this video. Or you can also search for it on The Sims 4 Gallery using the hashtag Mrs. Tomato 1018 or through my username, which is also Mrs. Tomato 1018. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you want to see more, uh, you can do that down below. I put out a new video every single day, Monday through Friday. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have liked this and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>